Welcome to my tutorial on how to use the Auto Shape Key Generator add-on for Blender. This add-on is a game changer for those who use Blender for character animation, as it allows you to easily create 52 shape keys for your character with just a few clicks. In this tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to use the add-on as well as how to connect it to your iPhone for facial mockup. If you don't have an iPhone, I will show you how you can extract CSV data from video and you can just use it as facial mockup so make sure you watch till end so you will understand how you can do that hello guys now welcome so here i have my character in the scene you can see i don't have any shape key yet for the character here and this character i use auto rig pro to rig it the add-on i'm going to show you work perfectly with metal rig and auto rig so i'm going to show you how to set it up i have already have an, a video that go in depth for how to use this add-on but it has gotten a new update so i'm going to show you how to use that one so let's go to edit preference and i'm going to install the new one so i'll locate where i have that add-on so it is version 1.2 so this one so it will be here that is the animation too and it will be available on view location so this is the add-on it will appear on the animation tab here now our next thing to do is i'm going to create a new folder and let's go to file link and go to uh, where you have the 52 plus shape keys blender file i will leave a link in the description both the add-on and this file so double click on it let's go to collection since this one we use auto directory this character we have to import uh, the auto -ray. so if you use meta just import the meta so i have linked it into my scene Next thing I'm going to do is just go to object and I'm going to make it so that it will snap back to here. Move it to this side. Now you can see this has animation on it. So you can see it's moving here. So now you are going to transfer this animation to this character. It's very easy. Now for the new update, when you select your character, you can see the name of this rig is called my rig is the name of this rig so we have a rename button here when you click this rename it will change the name of your rig so there's a reason why you have to do this because in the other version uh, sometimes you get an error so this is the best way to face that so when you click this rename it will change your rig name to our shape keys and it will automatically select that one as a target rig and for the source rig it's called rig 01 the one you just link so just search for that one here and it is this one now after you have done just click on transfer animation and click on ok so then you can see our character has this animation plane here and we have keyframes on our timeline each two keyframes represent reset and shape key so here is a shape key and then it will reset here and this one is another shape key that's an eye look down and it will reset and another shape key and then it will reset here so you have to go in between these keyframes and you can save as shape key so i'm going to show you how you can do that So the first thing you have to do that make sure your the eyebrows the eyes the upper teeth and everything has been joined together with the body like this join them you can use ctrl plus j to join them if you want the in-depth tutorial i have another video link in the description that's go in depth so let's go and select our character body and we are going to save this as shape key so right now when you click save as shape key you have these names will pop up here and it has arranged in according to the keyframes you have here so when you move your timeline or you move your line to here you can see this one be called blink this one will be called blink so we can just click on save as 
savers and this will be called i blink l and click on ok so let's move on here and save as shaping this will be called i loop down left so that's my left eye and save as so right now it will be easy for you to choose the name because in the other version you don't have that one and this one is also very important to the naming if you change any name here or you change any letter here it won't work for auto uh for if you want to link it for your facial mockup it won't work so make sure you choose this name so so i look out left so this look left and hit okay this i script i screen left and then let's go I wide left so I'm going to speed up the video to finish So now guys you can see i have finished setting up the facial naming so this is just easy so you can see we have all them it starts from here and then it's go up and also go up start from here to the end so you have to make sure you set them up for them so now we can test it from here when you set a cutter body and you can just you can see it have the the right name there is brow down right so you can see it's go brow right down so make sure the name match exact to her so this is your open jaw open you have to make sure it's match perfect so jaw forward jaw go forward jaw right you go jaw right jaw left match jaw left math left let's go so make sure it's much perfect like this now after you've done that uh your facial animation rig also has the animation on it so just select the rig and click on clean rig and it will remove all the animation from it now you are good to go right now you can select your character give it any animation have able to control the official animation from the shape keys you can also search for names here so this one has made it easy for it to set it up so now guys we have end with the first step so now how can we make this one link into iphone to get our facial mocha for motion capture data it's just easy i'll give you the next add-on it's called live link it's got live link face so all what you have to do is i i will leave the video in the description it will teach you how to do this because i don't have iphone to show you how to do that but there's a video there you just select your character click on it on your iphone using the uh, mockup application on your iphone you just type your ip address and type it in here but yeah i'm going to show you how to use the csv Fun. Yeah, there's a there's a free program called Face Landmarks. So when you, I'll show you. I'll give link in the description. When you extract it and open this uh, application, when you open it, it will head. It will ask you to enable hair tracking. So I'm not going to track the hair. So I'm going to set it to no. And for the head for you want isometric eye tracking and yes and so yeah it will prompt you to choose video so i'm going to choose video clip
so now it will analyze through the video and capture the uh, facial motion and it will store it as csv for it to be able to use in blender now when it's done extracting it will save in where you have your video file so right now i have it on my desktop so the first thing i have to do is select your character body so the body line and click on add target so if you have multiple targets like the eyes if the eyes is separate you can select it and add and the eyebrows for example if you have the eyes separate click on plus and if you have the eyebrows also separate click on and add that one the upper and you have the lower two separate you have to make sure you add them all to here and go to load csv here locate where it saves so i'm going to add it and now you can see the character is doing this so i'm going to load the video here So now if you want the eyes to move smooth you can select the eyes and let's go to graph here and go to the graph press alt plus s and choose better width smooth and this will smooth the eyes movement this one is from video so it doesn't look perfect if you have an iphone and then you use that one for the motion capture i think it will look better i don't have iphone to show you so i will leave uh, you can search on youtube and since you have your shape key set up already it's easy to just link it to your iphone and have your motion capture so thank you for watching bye bye see you in the next video if you have any question, them in the comment section.